Welcome to RouteGen, a network trafficking web application intended to export baseline configuration files for the various routers within a network for service providers or hospitals or any mass production company that uses multiple routers within their network. The current process for doing this is a manual process that requires hard coding the router configurations for every single router on the network and this oftentimes takes several weeks sometimes even months to do so having the ability to generate baseline configuration files for all the routers in the network by generating the clockwise paths and counterclockwise paths helps reduce the amount of labor used as well as the time it takes to set up these networks so what we're going to do now is we're going to log into RouteGen using the uh, demo account we have created. And here you can see the various projects that you have created. Um, these projects will be projects that you work on or want to share with other people or they're just personal projects you have made. And this section here is various projects that have been made by other people that have been shared with you so you can view them and edit them and do as you like with them. So let's just go into uh, this first project here called Cisco. And on this page, the first thing that comes up will be the network diagram, which is generated from the nodes that you create within this node table over here. Um, these nodes are going to be different colors according to the different types that you create and the connections as well also symbolize different connections you can have. So currently we have um, six networks, uh, six nodes here in the network. And if we go to the nodes page, we can see more details about them. And we can see here that we have some core nodes and edge nodes here. Um, the core nodes and ed no edge nodes will help determine the different paths that you can export eventually. Um, we're still working on adding that feature in, but it will be coming up soon. So the sequence number is the location within the network that the node exists. Uh, this is the name of the node, and then these will be the clockwise and counterclockwise IP addresses for the nodes, as well as the clockwise and counterclockwise interfaces for the nodes. Um, this will be the loopback address for the node and the loopback interface. And the ring number will determine which ring the node is on. So all this information is information you can add for the nodes. And right here is where we create new nodes to add to the network. So we can add node seven here and call it test and give it 10.100.7.1 E1, 10.100.6.2 E2, 10.100.0.7 loopback, zero and then we'll make an edge node and make it ring one so we can create that and if we go back to the diagram now we'll see that node seven got added to the network <clears throat> these brown connections here symbolize primary connections between nodes and this yellow connection here is to symbolize shortcut paths between nodes so the color of the connection helps determine the different paths that can be taken for the export and then if we go to the interfaces page here, this will symbolize all the shortcut paths that we have created. And as you can see, there's the MTCR node here and the Do West node here. If we go to the interfaces page, we'll see that there's the MTCR and Do West node, so to find that it's a secondary connection. Um, if we go back to the drawing diagram, we can actually create shortcut paths between them by right clicking on a node and then dragging it to another node within the diagram. So we can connect test to COHL here and it'll create the shortcuts paths. And then if we go back to the interface page, it'll actually pop up here. Um, we also have it where if you click on a node within the diagram, you can see all the information about that node. It'll tell you the sequence number, it'll tell you the name, the IP address, the or a clockwise IP address, I should say, the clockwise interface, the counterclockwise IP address and interface, the loopback address, the loopback interface, um, if it's an internal node or external node, and then the type of node it is, so it would be an edge node or core node if it's internal, 
and then this will tell you the ring it's on as well and this will also tell you the description if we go to project settings here <coughs> you'll see that you can select an account that you want to share the project with so if you wanted to share Cisco with um, this user here you can click share and now Jeremy will be able to see the Cisco project that you've been working on as well if you wanted to rename the project to something other than Cisco or the client name other than Cisco or even the description different you can go into here and change the name and call it um, Cisco master project and then it'll automatically change the name of the project after you enter the name so the big part of it will be the output file that you receive from exporting so let's go back to the diagram page and you see this export button here after you click this export button it'll ask you or it will actually generate a zip file here which if you open it up it will contain all of the nodes that you have in the diagram and if we open up one of the nodes uh, let's go with ABHB it'll actually generate the baseline configuration file that will give you the four paths which will be the clockwise paths from ABHB to every single node on the network and then if you keep on scrolling you'll see the reverse paths which will tell you the counterclockwise paths from the one node to every other node on the network um, for now that's the only export we have but in the future we are planning to add the ability to export shortcut paths and even generate just the paths from one node to all the core nodes on the network as well but as it stands now um, the export file will generate all like the long path from one node to every other node on the network.